Guys, today we have an interesting video for you. I'm going to be rebuilding the Carolina Panthers, but there's a twist. We have 25 first round draft picks. Now, sadly, you can't have more than 25 as you can see on your screen right now because of the fact that EA only limits you to 25. I want to do every single pick in the first round. There's no human way possible to do it. So, for example, we are missing the fourth overall pick, the sixth overall pick. Um, we are missing, what other picks? 21st overall pick, and then so on and so on. So, again, like I said, can't technically have every single pick. But you know what? 25 first round picks. I think that's pretty dang well enough to build or rebuild this team. Now, I'm going to make the controversial decision here, okay? And the controversial decision is going to be... I'm sticking with Bryce Young. Yeah, that might be a very stupid decision at the end of the day, but I think this is going to be the best for us at for long-term success is just kind of sticking with the quarterback we have. Now, in Madden, Bryce Young doesn't ever really become the best quarterback in football. And yes, I took a wide receiver number one overall pick and I need to get him a weapon. But he is serviceable enough that I feel like we could be very successful if we build the correct team around him. So going ahead and taking a look at this, we took a wide receiver with our first pick. Left outside linebacker. Ooh, let me see what position do we technically need. We need cornerback. That's definitely. But I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to kind of try to get as many of these top five guys in here as I can before... We saw it kind of branching off. So we got a wide receiver. We're taking a tight end here. Let's take number three here. Actually, let me look at the roster. I, I Let me just not mess this up. Let's, let's look at the roster. We have a lot of picks, but still. All right. So let me do the best team available. Left guard center. Definitely two positions I want. We just took a tight end. Wide receiver is definitely a big need on this team. Ooh. Man, that left outside linebacker would be nice, actually. Now that I think about it, that left outside linebacker, if he can become a superstar for us, or a superstar X Factor, and he can really be a franchise guy, I think we gotta take this left outside linebacker. Let's see. Normal dev. Oh, that was a bust. That was an absolute bust. And where is Jacksonville gonna go? They're not going quarterback. Oh, well, I. Could not see because it does not show me anything. What is going on with this game? Okay, anyway. Um, ooh. I could take back-to-back -back left side linebackers. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to trust the guy we have and hope he is the guy for us in the end here. Going to go with a corner. Okay, so I got myself a hidden potential corner. Um, I'm probably... I have like seven picks in a row here. I'm probably going offensive lineman unless there's no good ones in the first round. Because if they're not, I'll just take them later. Okay, so first, second round pick, I can take these guys later. Okay, yeah, so lineman I could take later in all honesty. I don't have to go right now for lineman. Um, D tackle number one. This guy looks like he's going to be an absolute freaking stud. So let's get our franchise D tackle. I mean, again, a lot of these players are going to be franchise players, let's be honest. A lot of these guys, you simply cannot say they're not going to be franchise players. This guy's still on the board. I feel like D catching traffic is not that crazy to say for Madden's sake. In Madden, uh, D catching traffic can easily get you know better over time. How He's a playmaker, okay? Playmaker archetype, how fast is he? He's the slowest, well, not the slowest, but he's a 30-second receiver. He could be a star, though, or a superstar. He could be an absolute gem in the end here. And he's a good run blocker. That could help us out. I do want to get another receiver for my quarterback here. I definitely do. But my question is, who do I want to get? A playmaker, or should I get one? I feel like I should get one later. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna get one later here. Let's all right, let's let's kind of regroup here, okay? So the best players available. I don't always go best player available, by the way. Sometimes I do, 
Sometimes we don't. Depends really what it comes down to, what positions are available. Um, I might go with this corner. Yeah, I'm going to go with this corner just to get it out of the way. So now we have two really good star rookie corners. I might go to the corner later, too. Again, like I said, we're, we have 25 picks, guys. We can kind of branch out as much as we want here. How good is this running back? How fast are you? Third fastest running back. Decent strength. Okay, does he have good catching ability? C trucking, B stiff arm. We don't really know his catching ability. Hidden potential, 93 speed, okay. I took a running back. That might not have worked out in the end there, but um, kind of like I said, we're gonna find out one day. Um, let's go with, ooh. I really want to go another wide receiver, man. I really do. And because I control the board right now, I mean, I control the board until what? Pick literally 21. All right, you know what? We're just going to do it then. We'll take a wide receiver. I don't think I'm going to go with this guy. He looks like he'd be a better overall receiver, potentially. But I think I'm going to go with, wait, how tall is he? This guy is um, six foot two. How tall is this guy? Six foot Came from Georgia. Michigan. I like Michigan a little bit better. Hidden potential. 91 speed. I'll take that. Okay. So now I take two wide receivers. I took a tight end. I took a running back, right? Um, let's go with some. I might go some defense here. Might go towards some defense here. We already have a really good run outside linebacker, but we could be thinking about players for the future. You gotta think about that too. You know, just because right now is good does not mean the future we don't need to start looking toward that too. Um, all right, dude. Now, like, now, now I'm at a point where it's like I'm just like picking the pick, and I, I knew we would eventually get to this point, but like, now I'm like, bro, we're just sitting here chilling, like, we're like the rich with picks. All right, you know, what? we're going offensive. I'm just gonna get the positions I want out of the way. Positions I want out of the way, I'm gonna get them out of the way. Okay, first, second round pick corner. D zone, not going with you. B man, B zone. This guy looks like he could be a really good player for us. Normal dev, don't like that, but 95 speed I like. All right, so I think our secondary is complete. I got to stop going quarter, bro. We still got JC Horn on this team. I got to remember that. We still got JC Horn on this team. Um, I feel like I should just go like one starter at every single position. I feel like that would be the best idea. Left guard. Hold up. What's um A A D. So he's awful at pass block. He's awful at one block, sorry, not pass block. Hidden potential left guard. Okay. What do we need? A center two. If we don't get the best player available in this draft, I will be absolutely stunned. Like I feel like low-key we might not, just because this is how it works, but at the same time. No, there's no way we don't. There's no way we don't get the best player available. I and mean, with all these picks, 25 out of 32 picks, we don't get the best player. Um, so, okay, so we took a center. Do we need a right guard? I don't remember. I think we need a right guard here. Right guard is no. Well, we don't. We could technically use a right guard for the future, but we don't technically need a right guard. We even take another wide receiver. <laughs> oh, I forgot Bryce Young is star development. Oh, that's going to suck. We need a second D tackle. All right, we're going to hope that Bryce Young can just develop for us because we're not going to have too much to work on with him having star development. But you know what? Maybe he can work out for us in the end here. It's going to take some time, but we just need him to work out. All right, we got another D tackle. That's our second D tackle now. We could look toward the rest of the offensive line. <laughs> you know, this would be the most like annoying draft possible. For anybody else, like fan base wise, because they're just watching us draft every single pick. Um, it's like, and it was a take all the time, like, mm, I kind of want that guy. That guy was a boss, by the way. I kind of want this guy. This guy could be something good. Like, bro, I would literally, like, they would, t they would say the draft starts and be like, yeah, the draft starts at like uh, 10 or 10 30, 11 o'clock when another team drafts. I guess if you have the Jags, if you're a Jags fan, though. That, they did draft a little bit early, so I guess that could technically be a, you know, you could actually technically like it, like being a part of this, if, you know, you're that fan. 
I got I got so many hidden potential players, bro. I mean, again, a lot of it's because of the fact I may um, have every single pick, so that's kind of helped me out a lot. I'm just I'm just gonna take him. I mean, in the end, whatever, whatever. In the end, I'm just gonna take him. See if he blossoms. If he blossoms, I'm happy. If he doesn't, I'm, it's whatever. I mean, at this point, man, we just have so many picks. Like, we just have players to take for no reason. Okay, I should not have taken that guy. That guy actually might be a bust. But you know what? Right tackle of the future, I'll take it. Um, left tackle of the future. This is the best left tackle on the board right now. I think he was the best going into this. So, hidden potential could be a franchise tackle. Could be our future franchise. Bills get to go up, but then we get to go up right after the Bills. So, we took a left guard... Oh, I think we took a right guard, left guard, and I want to say a left tackle. So we got offensive linemen pretty much figured out. Could go another running back here. Okay, hidden potential, nice speed. I feel like going running back, at getting hidden potential running back is not hard to do, though. I feel like that's a very easy task to hit. Like, a lot of people hit hitting potential at running back. I feel like that's just how it works. Oh, I just realized I'm going to have a lot of extra players now that I'm not going to need. I'm going to come and got, I'm gonna have to cut a lot of players here. Like from this active roster. Like this roster is going to be rookies next year. That's 1,000 percent a fact. This is going to be nonstop rookies on this team next year. So I'm going to have to cut so many different freaking players. Um, Okay. I could go another... I could go away from Bryce. I just don't want to go against Bryce Young here. Okay, I want to keep the idea that Bryce Young can be our starting quarterback and can be our guy moving forward. I'm not going to go against him yet. Maybe in the future we go elsewhere, but I think if you put enough building blocks around him, enough superstars around him, he can be good enough. I love how I'm already doubting my decision of going around, of building around Bryce Young right now, and we're like not even to the season. Like, we haven't even gotten past the draft yet, and I'm already like, oh, you know, maybe it wouldn't be a, a bad idea to go somewhere else. Like, I'm already doubting it, bro. I love how all the best quarterbacks do are still on the board. That's because the Jags picked, and the Jags have freaking Trevor Lawrence. So they're not going with a quarterback. You already know that. Dude, these safeties were kind of bust, man. Kind of hoping that they actually gave us something good out of those safety picks. Dude. <laughs> we have no picks outside the first round, so I'm like... I'm going to be big chilling the rest of this draft here, guys. But, um... Okay, so I took a free safety, took a strong safety. I kind of want to take a middle linebacker just for, like, crafts and giggles of, like, taking a position there. Because I've taken so many other positions at this point. I feel like... You kind of have to just take someone just, you know, to have that position as a rookie. Because every other position on our team, there's a rookie. <sighs> that guy looks really good. All right, I'm going to take him. He's normal development trait. He'll be a backup, okay? If eventually we need to go toward him, we'll go toward him. But he'll be a backup starting off right away. How I'm looking at it, guys. I'm not 100% going to go toward him right away. If we need to, we need to. I'm pretty sure we took three left outside linebackers. All right, let me sim the rest of this draft, guys. One sec. All right, so the draft's over, and I want to see how this went. So our, our wide receiver we got is actually 81 overall. Um, 79 overall tight end. Quarterback, 79. How good was that quarterback? That quarterback we got was a 74. Okay. And he's just normal development traits, so nothing special. Um, and he'll be the backup to Bryce Young, you know, for the foreseeable future. But we have a lot of really good rookies here. Who was the best in the draft? We did not get the... We got the best in the draft, but we didn't get the second best in the draft. That was his strong safety, dude. How good is he? 21 years old. Okay, 92 speed. Dang, we took a safety too, but our safety wasn't that good. How good was our safety we took? We took a free and a strong. Um, our strong safety was a 75, our free safety was a 74. Alright, 
I'm about to adjust the lineup, guys, and I'll show you the lineup going into the season and what. All right, guys, so let's load the final roster going into this season. So we have a lot of rookies. Our two top two receivers are rookies. Our fourth receiver is a rookie. Our fifth receiver is a rookie. Actually, no, wait. That's our third string tight end. Yeah. Okay, listen. We have a lot. We have some injuries, too. We have two backup rookie running backs. We obviously have Bryce Young, who is going to be the focal point of this offense. We also have a rookie Rasa linebacker. Two rookie defensive tackles. We have some rookie backup offensive linemen. Some cornerbacks, like... There's a lot of hidden potential in this team, and I'm excited to see how these 25 rookies, literally half the team are rookies, how are they going to blossom in this year? Let's get it going. All right, so after the first week, we went 21, okay, we won 21-17. I don't know why I said we went. 21-17 after the first week. Okay, we played the Chargers. Wasn't that tough of a matchup. I didn't think that was going to be that tough of a matchup. Bryce Young looks like he actually did pretty dang good. 187 yards, two touchdowns, got sacked one time in that game. Chubba Hubbard really led the team rushing. Our rookie receivers led in there and also got a tight end action, Jason Woodson. So, anything crazy on defense? Uh, sack for one of our guys. And JC Horn got two interceptions. I love how I just upgraded so much in that secondary, rookie-wise. And then JC Horn's like, bro, I'm the guy that you should be focused on. Like, don't focus on anyone but me. I'm him. I'm Himothy. I'm Himothy Rex. All right, so we got some skill points for our uh, rookies here. And that's what we're going to have to use as much as possible here is utilize those skill points to get these guys as high of an overall as possible. And again, you know, enough, enough skill around Bryce Young. And I think Bryce Young could be a pretty dang good quarterback. Well, hopefully. The hopefully part is. 41 to 14. Okay, well, that's not what we wanted, guys. That's not what we wanted. Come on, Bryce. Do not, do not be a mistake. All right, we beat the E. How? How did we do that? And then we we lose 41 to 14 to the Cowboys, and then we smoke the Eagles. I didn't know. We didn't smoke. Uh, no, we kind of did smoke them. We beat them by 11 points. For the lose like we did against the Cowboys and then win that like that, that's actually kind of smoking them. Now, keep in mind that if rookies, as we get to show by Saints here, rookies that get like different awards, like yearly awards, like Rookie of the Year, MVP, all that kind of stuff, they actually get huge increase to their, like, um, they get special abilities. So, for example, they might unlock an ability because of it. So, you want them to get as many good of awards as possible. And so far, our season, going into our bye week here, we are going to be, what, two and what? No, we actually won. We're three and three right now. So, we're third place in the division. The Buccaneers are 0 and 6. <laughs> Bucks, what are you doing with your life, man? What are you doing with your life right now, Buccaneers? Coming out of our bye week, where are we sitting right now with our team? I want to take a look at our squad here and take a look at where we're sitting. So coming out of a bye week, adjust roster. Currently, it looks like any, like, Superstar X-Factors. Okay, so he's a Superstar. He's Superstar X-Factor. That's awesome. Um, Why are we not... Okay, hold up. Why don't we just use the rookies here? I don't know why we're using the the other guys. Like, we want these guys to blossom. Hawkins hasn't gotten enough snaps, and neither has Allen, surprisingly enough. So, it's kind of disappointing. But we got a couple Super Soul X Factors here. On defense here, Brian Burns, obviously. Okay, Super Soul D tackle. Um, Wait, Ward. Okay, so I think the computer picked up another guy here. And just literally demoted my rookie. Wait, ain't, uh, unless... No, wait, no, no. This guy we drafted. Oh, he's a star. Okay. That confused the heck out of me. Because I was like... I thought this was Charizard Ward, the Chiefs guy. But no, that's... um The guy we drafted. He just got demoted. Um, I was about to say, like... Oh, how did the computer pick up anyone anyway? I'm literally simming it each single week. Alright, so... yeah, We're going to have to see more out of some of those guys. Like, more playtime to see what... You know development traits they get but we're playing the four and eight giants outside of a bye week and we barely beat that team okay now we got the six and one chiefs oh don't tell me don't tell me it goes bad 
I don't want to hear. Oh, we got smoked. We got absolutely smoked. So now we're 500 yet again. We're just like Christophering. Okay, that's all Christopher Ward. That's why I said that. We are just like chilling on this nice, solid 500 record. Which is not going to be a playoff record. And we need to get to the playoffs here with this squad, guys. We did not get this amount of first round picks for nothing. Okay? 25 first round picks has to be a, a, a way for the, to a Super Bowl. I mean, I know we have four years, technically, and a fifth-year option on all of these guys. But still, though, you know? These rookies need to do something. And this is, like, what? Bryce Young's second year? So we got to blossom in the second year? All right. We won. Okay, wait. Who got hurt? Do not tell me with Bryce Young. Our star receiver got hurt. And our halfback got hurt at some point. Okay. Now, keep in mind, again, I did draft a quarterback in the first round. We're going Bryce Young for the foreseeable future. Something different happens, I'll let you know. All right, six and five now. So, we're actually one game out of first place with the Saints here. Now, we play the Browns. And we're headed in the wrong direction. And somebody else got hurt. Who got hurt now? Okay, it looks like Dawkins got hurt. No, no, this is the other receiver we have. Now he got hurt. Her other receiver now got hurt. Running back is still hurt, but he is our backup running back, so that's a little bit less of a pain there. And we beat the Falcons. Okay, so that's a huge divisional win right there. Helps us out drastically. But the Saints now, we play them this week. And this is a huge game now. Because we're currently, what, 7-6. and six. Are we in the playoff picture? We should be. At least, like, you know, 7 seed. We're six seed. Okay. And we beat the Eagles head to head. So that's going to benefit us. But this game right here, this game right here means everything for us. It's in New Orleans too. So that's even more of a win if we can get a win here. That is a humongous win in New Orleans. That's going to take over that. Ooh, we're not going to take over the division, but that's going to put us guaranteed in the playoffs. That's going to guarantee our spot in the playoffs here. Where are we sitting in the playoff race right now? We were number six. And now we're number five. Man, if we can win out here, we could actually knock out. We could knock the Saints out. Can we beat them head to head now? Come on. Oh. How are the Bucks 2 and 13? I'm more confused about how the Bucks are 2 and 13. We lost our outside linebacker for six weeks. Great. Like, the Bucks cannot be that bad, bro. Baker Mayfield is not that bad. All right. Baker, do not play upset to me. Please. We barely beat a 2 and 13 team. Oh, well, now 2 and 14 team. And we finish it off with a 5 and 11 Bear squad who hopefully we can get the job done against. Let's all uh, just hope at this point. We should be in the playoffs no matter what, though. Nine and seven should be in the playoffs. We're number seven seed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We might be on the fringe here. All right, hang on. Let me see what. where are we sitting right now. We're sitting at number... Oh, we already made the playoffs. Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. We already made the playoffs. We already locked the playoff spot in. We got the X. We're good. So this game does not matter. I thought for a second that game mattered for a second. All right. So let's look at the overall stats for the year. Okay. We, we got killed by the Bears. It doesn't matter. We still, again, like I said, made the playoffs no matter what. Before we get into our playoff game against the Packers, what I want to see here is, first off, who's injured. But then also, stat-wise, what happened? Because if we don't have the Rookie of the Year on offense... Or defense, I'm gonna be heavily surprised. All right, stat wise for the year, Bryce Young, how good? 3,300 yards, 26 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. Dude, that is horrendous. You have, I know you have a lot of rookies, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and say that, you know, you had the best players out there possible. But still, though, you had the best rookies in the country on your team. <sighs> okay. I mean, it, it, 
even though it's really disappointing. Like, there's no sugarcoating that at all. Um, 32nd ranked offense. Bryce Young, yeah, he's not even going to come in close in there. So, for rookie of the year. Okay, we got Greg Craig. Okay, that's awesome. We didn't get defense. Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay. We got offense. What did we get for defensive rank? 19th. All right, so 32nd offense, 19th defense. That's actually not that horrendous. Let's get into this wild card playoff game. All right, let's get it, boys. Let's get it. Um, First drive, 3 nothing. Okay, come on, Bryce Young. Be great for me, man. Do not make me regret not selecting a quarterback. Do not make me regret not selecting a quarterback, Bryce Young. Okay, I could have selected the quarterback easily. We had 25 first round picks. And okay, he nudges out Jordan Love. Now that's not saying much, okay? To nudge out Jordan Love is not saying much. But at least you did something good starting off right away. Alright, let's go defense. I mean, why did it say defense? Let's go divisional. <laughs> let's go to the divisional. Not let's go defense. I'll be honest with you, though. With half the team being rookies and us getting our first playoff win, that's actually really relieving. Like, that's a stress off my back because I thought that might not happen for, like, a year or so. <sighs> I don't want to play the 13-4. and four. The 13-4 and four Niners? Are you kidding me? That's the last thing I want to play, bro, is the 13-4 and four 49ers. Okay. Well, Bryce Young, um, you want to be great? Be great, brother. All right, they scored already. We didn't score. Hey, hey, yeah, that 49ers defense is good, man. 49ers have a great defense. I will give them credit where it, credit is due. And Bryce Young is not able to score. Bryce Young could not score. He literally could not score. It didn't matter how many options he had at court, I mean, at, around him. The guy could not score in that game. Like, three points the whole entire game. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's one of those ugly things you just don't like to talk about. Well, guys, it's... um. Can, can we say next season? Because at this point, I feel like we're just going to have to hope for next season at this point. So, let's uh, skip forward to next season, guys. One sec. Alright guys, so here's year two, and if you're wondering where our third string running back is, um, he tore his whole entire quad. Yeah, we'll look at that in a second, guys. So here's our squad going into year two. Got some of those rookies that really never blossomed to anything special. Uh, defensively here, we got some more rookies that... None of the rookies, other than the tight end, became a superstar X-Factor. I was kind of hoping that they would all become, at least some of them, become superstar X Factors. I probably had the worst first round of any first round you could have there. All right, um, injury report. So he has a complete PCL tear. He's out for 28 weeks. Yes, he's on IR, and there's really nothing we can do there right now. So we're going to have to just accept the fact that he's going to be going for a very long time. All right, first game of year two. We got to play the Atlanta Falcons, a divisional matchup starting off right away. Bryce Young loses the first game. I'm still, still, I know it's crazy to say this. I'm still backing up Bryce Young here and saying that he is my starting quarterback for right now. I say right now because obviously things could change. But he did get to the playoffs. He won us a playoff game. Against the Packers, so I gotta give, I gotta back him up for right now. Maybe in the future things change, but right here we get a, a win versus the uh, Dolphins. See, I have, I have faith. He just throws so many interceptions, and now with two stud receivers on his squad, two superstar receivers, and a superstar X Factor tight end, it's like there's no way he should be playing this bad. And he's actually playing this bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, two and two, dude. I, I feel like in real life, Bryce Young is coming off in real life. It's one of his best games of his career so far of his rookie season. And there's a lot of hype behind him. There was a lot of hype going into this year, right? He's from Alabama. Great, smart football mind. 
just really doesn't have the skill when it comes to, um, he doesn't have the skill when it comes to actually, like, being tall. <laughs> he, he's a very short quarterback, and that's his problem. And a lot of people docked him for that. And I don't really think it matters in Madden that much. Height does not matter that much in Madden. But the fact that right now we're about to be 2-5 and five after making the playoffs last year, we might have to make a quarterback change. I might have to... Ooh. I mean, 2-5, and five, our season now is going downhill. All right. I don't know. Do I do this now or do I kind of wait maybe one more year? But I feel like at this point, our season's already going downhill. Like, you got, we got to do something here now. All right. Bryce. It's Weber's time to shine. I hate to do it, man, but yeah, we got to move on. We got to move on from you, Bryce. We got to see what Weber got. We got him in the first round for a reason. And Weber's first game with us, he loses... But we do score 27 points, which actually is um, maybe a hidden blessing that our offense actually came alive a little bit. Defense definitely didn't, but our offense somewhat came alive. All right, let's see what ends up happening next year. Okay. Well, here's the positive, right? We lose enough. Potentially, we get a first-round pick. And we or higher first-round pick. And we can get someone good. Maybe like a, you know, a really good quarterback. I don't know. We might we might just kind of build around Weber now. I don't know. I, I kind of feel bad because I was so into, like, the idea of, of building around Bryce Young. And now I've given up on the idea. And Bryce Young. <laughs> Bryce Young sitting there like, bro. We could have had a top five quarterback to start this off. I don't know. This might be my last video. I actually count on Bryce Young to be great. I have faith in Bryce Young. Because Weber right now is actually getting the job done with this offense. I mean, he's not get, he's not doing amazing, but he got more wins than Bryce Young did. Felt like. Maybe not. We lost both of our running backs for the season. And now also a right outside linebacker. Great. Breakout DB. That's nice to see. Okay, let's get this defense popping a little bit more, man. Four and a ten? Really? Boys, 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 boys. I need someone to show me that they could be a starting quarterback on this roster. I don't know who it's going to be, but I need somebody to show me they can at least be a starting quarterback on this roster. Six and ten. Okay, so on the lowest of key, Weber had a redemption arc. Okay. He lost seven to six. What was the final stats of the season? That's my question. Twelve touchdowns, twelve interceptions for Weber. Four touchdowns, eight touchdowns, four interceptions for Bryce Young. Neither of these quarterbacks is the answer. I think that's really the com what it comes down to now. We cannot piss away how good this team can be. Hang on, guys. All right. I don't want to talk about this. We have no picks in this year's draft. If you guys did not see the beginning of the video, we have no picks in the first year, second year, third year of any of the drafts. Our first picks come next year. But now we trade away those picks because guess what? We want the first pick overall. So we trade away Bryce Young. Two first, two seconds. Could we have taken a quarterback in the first beginning of this video? And saved ourselves this struggle. Yes. But it is what it is, man. We have three quarterbacks to choose from. Strong arm, strong arm, and field general. 20, well, talent-wise, top five. Top five projection. This guy's a scheme fit. But this guy's top five everything. I mean, he looks almost perfect. 99 throw power as a rookie. I get he's a strong arm quarterback, but bro. B, short accuracy, A, medium, and A, deep. A, under pressure, and A, stamina. Holy 
crap is that guy gonna be a superstar for us? You know what? Maybe, maybe it turned, maybe it turned out well. You know what? Honestly, think about it. We did take a quarterback in the first round in the first draft. He didn't blossom. So maybe that was just a bad draft for quarterback. And me waiting three years, trading away all those picks, and trading away Bryce Young might come back to save us here. And now we have our franchise messiah for the future, right? That's kind of how I look at it. 83 overall as a rookie. What's his throw accuracy short that's so good? I mean, so I see middle is so good. Hang on, hold up. 81 throw deep, 83 throw middle. I love how it says A. I mean, that's good as a rookie, but come on. Year three, guys. Year three of um, having 25 first round picks. And listen, went to the playoffs the first year, second year. This is the third year, okay? We have a new quarterback now. Young is our guy. We are going to have faith in him. We're going to be supporting him. And we're going to really start to blossom this year and take off in general. Have ourselves a quarterback now. And that's what you need to be great, okay? First week. Let's go, baby. Falcons, divisional matchup. First chance for Young to be great. Okay. Wins first game. Ravens week two is going to be a tough matchup. It's in Carolina, so at least we get our first home opener for our fans. See our brand new quarterback. See our superstar. Okay. I'm about to get a raise. I'm about to get a raise if we take this team to our Super Bowl. All right. Well, there it was. That was fun while it lasted. Um, didn't think that was going to last as long as it did, so I'll be honest with you. I'm actually pretty dang happy. All right, 2-1. and one. Now we play the Lions, and the Lions are also 2-1. and one. So we're kind of in that, you know, early stages of everyone sucks or is kind of intermediate. And we destroy the Lions, but who got hurt? Okay, our star receiver got hurt. It's all right. You know, Young can get it done with anybody, right? Right, Young? You can still get the job done with anybody, right, buddy? Trust me, what you're replacing, Young, we need anything we can get at this point to be great. All right, Saints week, whatever, week five. Saints week five here, divisional matchup. Yeah, no, it's okay, bro. We, we're, we're, we're used to that. We're actually used to losing those games. Okay, we beat the Bengals. I mean, four and two going into our bye week is a lot better than what we did last year. Last year, we couldn't do anything, it seemed like. So, for, everyone's 4-2 and two on division. Why is our division so good, bro? Remember when the Buccaneers were like 3-14? and 14? Now, everyone in our division is like 4-2. and two. Okay. At least some teams lost. Raiders game. No, 49ers game. 3-4, and four, 49ers. Come on, we can... Yes, let's go, baby. We can keep knocking them down the hill here. Now we play the Raiders. I was thinking about the Raiders ahead of time because I saw the Raiders on the schedule. And how good are the Raiders? Three and four? Okay, this could be a really decent matchup. I mean, no matter how you look at it, this is so much better than our last quarterback. And I'm very happy about that. We're playing the one and nine Packers. We lost the one and nine Packers. You gotta be kidding me, bro. You gotta be kidding me. One in nine Packers. You lose the one in nine Packers. This is the crap when you lose games like that. Well, I get it, it's a trap game, and you know, it's like you go into it, you're cocky, arrogant, and you get punched in the mouth. I don't care though. One in a nine team. Seven and four. Where are we looking right now for the playoff picture? fifth seed okay and i feel confident that with this quarterback we can actually do something in the playoffs maybe score some points but that was clearly our problem before okay well we got to get to the playoffs first boys we got to get to the playoffs first and apparently right now we're just oh uh, we're losing well we were like here up here up here up here and now we're going right back down Okay. 
This is going to be a huge game here versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is going to be a make or break type of game. So, where are we seeing right now for the playoff picture? Let's just look at this. We're currently sitting number 7 seed, so we're kind of used to that. We shouldn't be automatically... We shouldn't have gotten a playoff spot yet. Who got injured? Okay, cornerback and... Okay. Get cornerback back next week. D tackles out for four weeks. Um, Wait, did we... Did anyone lock up playoff spots yet? Some teams... Oh, two teams did. That's it. Looks like everyone else sucks in the NFC. So, we gotta win this game. Nine and five. Come on. So please, Young. Please, Young. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Everyone in our division is 9-6 and six except for one team. And we, we are not in the playoffs yet. What? How? Where are we sitting? Where are we sitting right now? So, we're sitting at number 9. Okay. So, number 5 seed is already locked up with the Eagles. That means number 6, 7, 6 and 7 are so available. Um, six and seven could potentially be either the Saints, Panthers, or Bucks. Wait, how are we not locked into the playoffs then? I'm so confused because if we lose, we're what nine and seven. I feel like we should technically be in the playoffs no matter what here. I guess if we lose twice, that's why. All right, so let's see the Steelers game. Okay, well, we're about to figure out how we could potentially get knocked out of the playoffs. And now we play the Buccaneers. All right, so week 18 Buccaneers. Are we guaranteed in the playoffs yet? Nope. We are on the horizon sitting out. All right, so... No, wait. Hold up. We're knocked out of the playoffs. Yeah, because that's five, that's six, and that's seven. This game does not matter. We're already knocked out of the playoffs, guys. That's one, two, three, four. Unless... No, 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 no. There's no unless. We're knocked out because there's no way we can get in the playoffs at that spot. The, and the wild card spots are all locked up. So this game versus the Buccaneers... Real, wait. What? Okay, okay, no, 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 bro. My brain now is going kabooey. How? Okay, there's three wild card teams, right? Fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay. One, two, three. These are three wild card teams. So all playoffs. One, two. Okay, hang on. Let me let me do this. Let me do this model, Okay. One seed, two seed. Okay. Three seed. Is Vikings. Four seed is anyone in our division. Maybe. But then that makes no sense because if, like, let's say, I, let's say I won a division, right? Then that would be four seed. And now you have three other. Oh. Oh, I see what it is. Because one of these guys would turn into a Y. One of these T's would turn into a Y. Which would... Okay, so that's why. Alright, so I'm technically... If I win, I'm in. If I win, I'm in the playoffs right now. We have to win this game right here, though, against the Buccaneers. This is the most important game of the season. Because if we win this game, we're in. If we lose, potentially we don't get in. Potentially we could still get in it with a loss. But a win here puts us in because this one of us has to win the division. So that's why it was confusing me. No one won the division for our team yet. Or, or division. Alright, 3 nothing. This potentially could be a division win, too, if we get this win. I think. I don't know. Math is difficult. I don't like math. Okay. Okay. Come on, Young. Oh, we had a chance. Chance kind of fell through when um, we went into the game. Hey, we had a chance throughout that game. Alright, so now that we lost this game, what does that mean for playoff spots? I think it means we're just going to get 7th seed and that's it. Because I think someone's going to win the division and we should be good. And somebody got hurt in our game. 
I love that the linebacker got hurt for four games. Great. Fantastic. All right, so... Wild card, are we in the playoffs? That's my question. Yes. Okay, we're in the playoffs. Whew. Before we play the Rams. I always like to do this just in case so people know I'm not, like, simming games or forcing wins. I did play this one game, but just a little FYI here. I'm not forcing any wins. I don't know. There's some people down on YouTube and, you know... I feel like every content creator at this point likes to show and show it's not, you know, them doing that. 3,700 yards, 24 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Already better than Bryce Young and Weber. Already better than both those guys. Um, okay. Not bad. Did our rookie quarterback win rookie of the year? That's my question. Because I feel like he should have. Yes! Let's go, baby. All right, so that means he's going to get some good brownie points right there. But now we also got to play the 13-4 and four LA Rams. So, they would like this, right? If we win this game, this would be a humongous win. And that, right there, would be our rookie's first win. You know, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea where I was going to go with that. I kind of just started talking and hoped it made sense in the end. But... It didn't really make sense at any point, so here we go, boys. Here we go. Come on. We got a new quarterback for a reason because Bryce Young couldn't get the job done before. 14-7. Okay. 14-14. Dude, please just score. Rookie Young, please just score. Oh, my gosh. I replaced Bryce Young. For Kurt Young. And both of them give me the same results. And those results? Nothing good. At all. Alright. It's alright, man. It's always next season. And it's year four. Yeah, let's just um kind of give you guys up to speed adjustments here. So, the CPU did pick up a guy in the offseason. J.K. Dobbins. By the way, I am letting the CPU kind of control, like, who we pick up and who we don't pick up. Now, when it comes to draft picks, I let the CPU select draft picks. I'm just keeping the guys that we selected, the 25, you know, first-round picks. And seeing how they can kind of help out this team and mold this team. But the CPU is going ahead and selecting some guys in the, you know, free agency. They're not spending that much money, so I'm kind of just giving them free reigns on that. But I will be honest with you, um... Yeah, man, these first round picks were bust. Like, I don't say they're bust, but, like, they really never... A lot of these guys never blossomed. I mean, Ward looks good. Obviously, got two gold, you know, or superstar guys at wide receiver. Or superstar X-Factor tight end. But I don't know, man. I, we're going to have to see how this season goes. Because I feel like... I'm going to obviously bring them all back on a fifth-year option. But... Let's just see week one. Okay, maybe I'm being a little bit too negative here. Let's just see week one and how week one looks. Okay. And we got an injury. We lose and we got an injury. And it's all wide receiver for seven weeks. I feel like our receiving our rookie receivers get hurt so freaking much. Like every year I'm just like, and that guy's gone for like, you know, seven or eight games. Just instantly. It's within seconds of starting it off. Like, oh. This is going to be Finn. He's hurt now. <laughs> All right. We lost. Do not tell me this is going to be a season where we lose every single game, boys. Yup. That's, um, that, that, that makes about sense. You know, Young was really looking good. Looking like he was on the top of his game to be the best player possible. And now he's looking like he's going to be the biggest trash can possible. All right, one and three. Hold up. Comeback season, boys. Comeback season. <sighs> comeback season usually is a positive thing. You know, usually it's a good thing when you have comeback seasons. Um. Okay, no, no, hold up, hold up. What is happening? What is, like, going on here? Because now I'm confused. Four touchdowns, five interceptions. 
How did Kurt Young fall off a cliff? And in what universe did he just become the worst quarterback of all time? I mean, I guess he wasn't like doing too crazy amazing last year, but he was doing good enough that I could at least like, you know, write home about him. I mean, he is just like, okay, I'm gonna sit in the rest of the season, guys. This is getting bad. I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know what to say anymore, boys. Um, 3,100 yards, 16 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. J.K. Dobbins was a nice addition, but for some reason, these receivers are not clicking with our quarterback. Like, the receivers and the quarterback are not clicking together in the same orientation, man. And it's just, it's not working in that way. Next year in the making. To be honest... I don't know what to expect, but I expect greatness. No, no, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to expect, really. Honestly, we had a great year, a bad year, a great year, a bad year. Like, at this point, surprise me, bro. I'm going to sim to the playoffs, guys. Once I'm about to start cutting everyone off this team, guys. I'm about to start cutting everyone off this team. Because now, at this point, I'm done with the team. No, just kidding. 28 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Um... Man, I just don't know how all of these picks actually fizzled out. Like, I thought these picks were going to be something special. You know, 25 first round. But I guess it goes to show, man. There's a lot of bust first round picks out there who never really make it in the NFL. And I guess it's kind of showing that exact example right now. All right. Year next. That's what I really look at this point. Um, we're still rocking a lot of these guys still in this squad from our original 25 picks. And I'm just hoping they continue to blossom at this point, guys. Like, man, it is, it's, it's been, a, it's been a long time, man. We are now in 2029. So six years in the future, I want to say. Am I correct on that number? No. We are five years in the future. Five years in the future. And we're just hoping Young can take us to greatness here, man. How in the heck do we go eight and nine every season? I don't even know if this is even possible. I don't believe my eyes to see us go eight and nine every single season. 31 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 3,600 yards. Bro. Carolina. How are you guys, and you know, and I, I say this with the most love in my heart. This is the most mid-team I have ever seen in my life. They are now at a point where they don't make the playoffs, but they go 8-9 and nine every year. This is literally the equivalent of Jeff Fisher when he was with the Rams. They aren't a playoff team, but they are an 8-9 team every single year. And this is what happens. You lose out at the end. You flop at the end, and then you kind of fall off the face of the earth. <sighs> All right. Just, you know, you know the drill already, guys. You already know the drill. 2030. 2030. So we got an update, guys. Both of our running backs that we took in the first round way back in the day, both of them retired. Both had five, I think they both were under like three more years on the contract. They both retired. So we lost both of our running backs that we dropped in the first round. This does happen in Madden sometimes. Players retire early. I don't know why. It's just a thing in Madden that still surprises me to this day. Like they could be like a first round pick. They could be a second round pick and they hit a certain age and they just retire. And that's just a part of Madden. So... We're still rocking a pretty dang good squad, you know, we're still pretty high up there, but now we gotta go ahead and see what we can do this season. Please don't go 8 and 9. That's all I ask for. Please don't go 8 and 9. You just can't make it up anymore. You just can't make this up anymore. I don't know how this is even possible, but honestly, our two running backs retiring, I might want to retire at this point. Bro, we're eight and nine every single season. We lost 31 to nothing. I mean, is it time to move on from Young? 
potentially, we went through three quarterbacks in this franchise so far. Three first round quarterbacks. And it might be time to move on from Young. But the sad part is we always do just good enough not to lose enough to get a first pick or roll and get a quarterback. So it's like Young is keeping us alive at 8 and 9 every single year. I'm going to give this guy one more year and I'm just kind of fed up with him. Little side note here. Kurt Young is a 97. Craig ended up being a 95 so far. Uh, Jason Woodson is a 90... Um, Four overall so far. Daryl Hopkins Hawkins is a 93. Derek Brown. Well, actually, he was on the team beforehand. Um, Christopher Ward is a 91. We have Steph Hess, who was an 87. Trayvon Whitefield is an 87. We have um, Dennard Allen, wide receiver, who's an 86. Like, these guys have actually blossomed very well. 84 D tackle, 83 D tackle, 81 tight end, um, 81 left, what else, linebacker, 80 corner, 80 free safety. Um, actually, no, this is, this is not our guy. This is our guy. Um, this is our guy. 80, 79 overall corner, uh, center, 79 overall. Like, these guys are actually pretty dang good, and they've been on our squad since day one, like, since the very beginning of this franchise. They're still in this squad. They're still pretty good players. They just, for some reason, we can't click everything together to go anything better than an 8-9 and nine record. Which is insane to say that because we have a 97 overall quarterback. But we still haven't figured it out. Alright, so we have another retirement to talk about. Our second tight end. Not our superstar X-Factor guy who's now actually a star. But the other tight end we drafted... Wait, is it... Wait, never mind, actually. Hold up. Yeah, the other tight end we drafted, he retired. So, another player from that original draft class did go ahead and kick the bucket and say, it's time for him to walk away from football, which I respect. But, man, oh, man, are we, um... We are still rocking this squad, and that's where in everything we go 8-9, and nine. I... I don't even know what I'll say anymore. I don't even know what I'll say anymore if we go 8-9, boy. I, we went 7-10. and 10. At least we didn't go 8-9. and nine. At least we didn't go 8-9, and nine, guys. We went 7-10. and 10. We are the definition of mediocre. We are the definition of mediocre with this squad, guys. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know what to expect going into this video, right? I didn't know if I should expect us to be an amazing squad or one of the best squads possible. I mean, we have one of the best squads I feel like possible with 25 first round draft picks. Uh, also, I even changed my system. So this last offseason, I changed my system from the Carolina Panthers offense defense to the, I think, Ravens defense and then the KC offense. So I completely changed our system to see if that maybe would help us out. And we got a lot more passing yards, less passing touchdowns, uh, a lot more rushing yards it looks like, and we actually got a receiver over a thousand yards. But it didn't really change anything on the grand scheme of things because we finished with our almost eight and nine record every single year. And man, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't know what to think going into this. And actually, Kurt Young actually got in the MVP race, but I think I'm gonna call it quits here, guys, because. I don't, I don't know, man. Even after nine years, well, actually, how many years is this? Going to be six, well, going to be six years? I feel like this is, like, not correct. Oh, no, no, seven years, sorry. There we go. Now finishing our year seven, going into eight years. I don't know if these guys are going to ever hit, man, or this seems ever going to be something special. I mean, when you look at this squad, 96 overall quarterback, right? The running backs we had retired. They have a 94 receiver, 91 receiver, 90, uh, 85 overall receiver from our original draft class. A 95 overall tight end from our original draft class. Um, left tackle, we still have him. He's a 78 overall from our original draft class, but for some reason, this team has like 17 guys here. A left guard, 87 overall from the original draft class. The center is still from the original draft class. The right guard is still 
Actually, no, he retired. I didn't realize that. I forgot. No, he retired a couple years ago, actually. Um, right tackle, still from the original draft class. Um, you know, left end, still here. Right end, he retired a couple years back. Um, D tackle, he's still here. The other two D tackles, they retired too. So, which is crazy. I don't know how many, so many players are retiring. And I looked around the NFL, guys. They're not in the NFL anymore. So, this is a thing with Madden I know of, but I don't know. It was, I guess, I don't know. I guess when we take that many players, especially because a lot of those D tackles were just backups or third, second and third strings, yeah, they retired. So, again, like I said, I know it's weird to say that because it's like, wait, what? They're retiring at 28, 29? Keep in mind, some of those guys are a little older when we drafted them. So, they could be around 30 years old. But, yeah, it is what it is, man. So, we do have Mika Fitzpatrick on this roster, but, yeah, it's GG, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, but finishing with another 7-10 record, man, this team is mid. I was not expecting this, not gonna lie to you. See you guys next one. Peace.